KPOMI was removed from the hated list of foreign terrorist organizations that it should never have been on in the first place. And we thought that that, was a, that marked a turning point. Regrettably, the situation of the 3,000 residents of, a, of Ashraf later moved to a camp ironically named Liberty is more stark than it's ever been. 52 killed September 1st at, at, at Ashraf, others at Liberty. Seven hostages taken. And the two men most directly involved, in a way, are shortly to meet. One of them is Nuri al-Maliki, who is responsible for these outrages. Oh, he didn't, he wasn't there. But that, make no mistake, this could not have happened without his order. And of course, he was acting as the puppet and the stooge of the mullahs in Tehran at the direction of the Iranian government. He is responsible. The other is President Obama. He, too, bears a measure of responsibility. It's not the same kind of responsibility that Maliki has. Those men were trained by the United States military. They carried themselves. And they shot their weapons in the way that the U.S. military is trained and trains others. The evidence is overwhelming. Overwhelming about what already appears and overwhelming about what will appear in a report to be issued. That this was carried out by the Maliki government using U.S. weapons. Now, particularly for Americans, and I speak, of course, as an American, the focus of our every effort must be to make sure that the U.S. government takes up its responsibilities, both for what it can do and for what it has done. What it can do is to stop the persecution in two ways. One, make it clear to the Maliki government that arms and support will be cut off. As Ed Rendell says, if even one more person is hurt, we have the capacity and we have the means to do that. And the second, is to do our part to lift those people out. We have the means and the capacity to do it.